Hi. So this is the house we've drawn as our first exercise. We've got it all dimensioned up. We've got some nice text styles. The next thing we're going to do is make a first floor, which we're going to do by copying this. But first I'm going to turn off some of my extraneous layers. So let's turn off our text layer. OK, and I'm also going to turn off my construction setup layer for the moment because I can use the polar setting to make sure that it moves to the right place. So to make a copy of this, to start off my first floor, I'm going to just draw a quick rectangle around it, go straight to the copy command, click anywhere, and using polar to make sure I'm staying in a parallel line so everything's going to line up, click beside that, enter to confirm. Now I'll turn my construction setup back on because I'm definitely going to need it, and you can see that my walls are lining up nicely. So what we're going to do now is start to zoom in on this and make the changes that we need to. The first thing that's going to happen is that obviously there isn't a door just here at first floor level, so we'll select and delete that. Now we can make use of some of our line commands, our polyline commands, to adjust this external wall. And I want a perpendicular there, so if I just type perp, it'll snap to a perpendicular. This one we'll grab and pull here, this one we'll grab and pull here, snap to a perpendicular again, escape that and we'll use the stretch command with this bit of wall to just pull it into place. There we go. We need to copy a window into this position. doesn't really matter where we use as our start point for our window and we we'll also need to stretch that to size as well. Just grab the corner here, drag it to the corner of the opening. So good. Now we need to put in the bedroom just here, so I'll need to offset this wall by 3 metres. Offset distance 3000, confirm that, and we'll offset our construction line that way. And we'll now offset it another 100 millimetres to make our internal wall. The next thing we want to do is make sure that our walls layer is current, so we'll click on that one and draw in this bit of wall here. I'm going to go 100 millimetres this way, just to position my door, and 100 millimetres this way to line up with our external wall. Now I'm going to trim out my external wall so that it's broken and I've got what looks like a continuous line around my walls. I need a door in this space here, so I'll just use one of my doors from before. Copy that. Grab it. Drop it. Now I can draw in this bit of wall here. This may actually need to move. It's going to depend what happens with my staircase, but I can check that up when I'm working in section. And now I need this to open inwards, so I will mirror that along the midpoint my door linings and I do want to get rid of the mirror line. Now I can erase this bit of wall because it's unnecessary. I can bring this bit down to meet up with that bit so I've got a complete external wall there and what I'll do now is a stretch in this location to get the door in the right place. Click, click. So now we've got one bedroom, two bedrooms, that's going to be the family bathroom, but this is an ensuite for this bedroom here, which is the master bedroom. So I don't really want a door just here. Let's get rid of that. And I need to close up this bit of wall. So I'll draw around the internal walls of my family bathroom. I can tidy that up later. And I will draw, if we go 250 that way. Draw that up there. Click. 550 this way, 250 again, should do for that because I can tidy to that, enter to close that one. What I'll do now is offset this line by 100 millimetres again to get my other wall location. Now if I grab hold of this one, I can bring it to meet up with that there, escape that, grab hold of this one, tidy that up. OK, so now we've got our wardrobe. Let's 
Next we'll deal with this ensuite. So let's start with a line from the middle of this wall out that way and offset it by 400 millimeters each side. That's going to give us a slightly narrower than usual doorway but it'll still be plenty big enough. Now we can tidy up some of these. New bunch of polylines. rid of these irrelevant lines. I'm going to doorway into that at some point but it's okay for the moment. And all I need to do now is just tidy up this one. And that's done. So now we've got bedroom study with a cupboard. We've got our family bathroom, a little ensuite and the major bedroom here. This element here is going to be um, an airing cupboard at the top of the stairs. Now my back wall of my upper level lines up with these two lumpy things that we put in at the sides of the kitchen and the reason we put them there is for that back wall. So the next thing I'm going to need to do is show my windows for that and I'm simply going to use this here as a window template so I can copy all of these bits, click on copy and if I start on the inside corner there, bring them down to the inside corner here got those in pretty much the right place. I don't actually need these bits. Let's get rid of those and simply stretch the nibs to meet up with my window. That was an enter to restart the command. Choose my objects, stretch. Now this is obviously going to be a window not a door because I've got a roof over here. So we need to get rid of our two doors and see about copying our window in. In fact, let's make our windows layer current. Just draw in a rectangle over the top of that. A line to represent the glass. I shall grab the corner of this and drag it to there. One and this corner. Escape that to deselect it. Click on that and delete. So now I've got a, a big window which would probably have two opening lights either side and I can delete all of this stuff at the back because that doesn't exist at first floor level. But before I do any more deleting, what I think I will do is add in my roof profile. I'm going to assume that the roof at the back overhangs by about 200 millimetres. So if I do an over offset and make my distance 200, I can offset that like that. Enter to confirm. I will also need a construction line for the other side of the roof. So let's go out that way and I'm going to assume that my roof at the side there is going to offset by only about 35 millimeters. On this side of the house it's the other half of a pair of semis so this wall here will just go straight across the back. So if I grab and tidy up this wall and just show that stretching out along that way. All I need to do now is tidy this up here. That's okay. Now how am I going to show this roof? This is the question. I'll be looking down on this roof. So effectively the roof is in elevation. I'm going to create myself a layer for my elevations. Let's call it elevations. I'll make it green. It's got to print out definitely and it needs to be quite thin. So we'll go for 0.2 that current close that. If I draw a rectangle up there I can always stretch it later. Like that. I click on my rectangle I can just grab the grab point pull it out to make my roof. So that's the roof but I wouldn't be able to see it through this windowsill here so I'm going to need to trim that out. We'll go back to our trim command select that as our cutting edge and get rid of that bit there. So now I've got my master bedroom with its nice big window, it's got a little ensuite, we've got the main family bathroom, the study and the second bedroom at this level. I've tried to keep the changes from ground floor to first floor as simple as I possibly can to make it as easy as possible for you to be able to do that copying and the next thing that we'll do is add in some sanitary ware and furniture.